Hello everybody, Sam from Road Trail Run. Let's take a look at two stability-oriented trainers. Over here we have the New Balance 860 V12, um, which is $135 available now. And then over here we have the $130 ASICS GT2010. So in terms of weight, our uh, GT2000 uh, 10 is 287 grams, 10.1 ounces in a US 9, whereas our 860 V12 is considerably heavier at 10.8 ounces or um, uh, 308 grams in a US 8.5, half size smaller. That, an 8.5 is usually my size. In terms of stack height, they're very, very similar. Um, they both have um, a 24 millimeter forefoot. Of course, up here we have the softer Propel, um, whereas over here we have the Fresh Foam X, which is a little denser. Uh, and uh, in terms of the heel, uh, our, our 860 actually is a 34 millimeter heel, whereas um, our GT is a 32. So you have a eight millimeter drop shoe here and a 10 millimeter drop here. Very classic kinds of geometry. So these are both stability oriented shoes. They're both available and wide if you need it. Um, now let's talk about the stability elements and the midsoles, because that's what we're really talking about here as stability shoes. Now our New Balance has a medial post here of really firm, firm uh, foam. On the run, it isn't really that noticed um, other than as a platform. Then we have great fresh foam X as in the 1080 uh, with the rest of the midsole. Whereas our A6 has what they call light truss. Uh, there is no plastic trustic plate as in the prior versions. We have a full review of the GT2000 uh, right here on the, si on the site, on the, the channel. But basically you have a flight foam midsole with a pretty vertical geometry medial sidewall, all flight foam, the white. And then above you have a soft and bouncy propel uh, foam all the way through the front. You can see it extending there. So it is a nicely flexible shoe, as is our 860, one run in 860, even more flexible, I'd say. You can see here there's quite a contrast in the outsole rubber. We have a lot of coverage up front um, in our uh, 8, 860, uh, not as quite as segmented. Um, and I can already tell you that this leads to a more responsive kind of snappier toe off. Whereas over here in our uh, GT, we have a considerably softer kind of feel, almost too soft and thin, we thought, in our written review. Now, let's talk a bit about the uppers here. Uh, we have over here a, uh, an air mesh upper on our New Balance with reinforcing stitching. You can see it has kind of an elf collar, uh, decent, very decent toe bumper. The mesh is quite thin should be quite breathable through the forefoot. Uh, there's no gusset tongue. It's a moderately padded tongue. I can tell you already that uh, in terms of the fit, um, it is definitely true to size. And what I really notice here is a wide uh, platform kind of at midfoot, down low, even though you're well held. And I think that's uh, to accommodate a wider foot, but also to accommodate if you use an orthotic by taking out the regular one. Uh, whereas here, over in our in our A6, we have an engineered knit upper with some stretch, as you can see, less of a kind of a toe bumper, uh, more plush tongue, very comfortable, uh, very plush collars here. You can see those collar that collar is lower, so you get kind of a more kind of comfort-oriented fit over here. There is some give to the knit. Uh, not quite the super, super secure lockdown of the uh, New Balance, uh, although it's still fine. Now, uh, both of them are oriented around stability, and I am not a stability runner shoe, running shoe kind of person. I prefer neutral. But both of these provide a 
kind of more mellow approach to stability, not overwhelming. I kind of like to take them out a stability shoe on kind of recovery, easy runs where I really don't want to think about things. So next step, I'm going to take them out on the road, one on each foot for the AB test, tell you more about the fit and the ride, and I will be back. A lot of seaweed is washed up. Let's talk about the fit of our two shoes. So, our, uh, look at that long lace. Our uh, GT2000, even though it's half size up, has a considerably more kind of relaxed, comfort-oriented fit. Um, particularly noticed at the heel collar, which is so much lower not quite as secure that's for sure as our 860 um, we have the knit upper here which you can see stretches a bit uh, whereas over here we have our our air mesh uh, which stays kind of more consistent more locked down um, even though I yes I'm a half size up in the GT I'd say they both run true to size with the GT a somewhat wider fit both available and wide, of course. I'm gonna say, even though it's a little rougher feeling, I prefer the more lockdown feel of the 860 here um, overall. A bit more performance oriented, which is kind of what I like. But if you want sort of a comfort fit and you're, say, between a wide and a medium uh, type foot, you don't quite need the wide, wide, and you want just something really cushy, then you go with the GT's upper. Now I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna give you some impressions from the ride and some conclusions. Oh my, the leaves and the stone walls are pretty today. Last days of leaves, soon they'll be down and we'll see some snow. Okay, let's talk about the ride of our two shoes, but first a little bit of geography. The marsh you see out there is tidal and we're on a bridge and on this side, it's fresh water with streams uh, feeding in. You can see we still have some nice leaves, but nothing too much. So in terms of ride, here's what we're going to say. Um, our GT2010 uh, has a considerably softer, thinner feeling forefoot than our uh, 860 V12. Um, it, it feels kind of more lively, flexible, but definitely thinner and cushioning, even though they have the same amount of 24 uh, millimeters of stack. And I think part of that comes, of course, from the very soft Propel foam up front here versus regular Fresh Foam X here, relatively firm. And then also from the two outsoles, because we have a less uh, segmented uh, outsole in the 860 V12. It feels a bit more stable, a bit more kind of responsive and poppy. Whereas here with the big flex grooves and what feels also like, well, about uh, softer rubber, definitely softer, I feeling rubber on the, um, on our ASICs over here. Uh, you've got kind of a softer, more friendly, thinner feel, a bit more kind of bouncy, whereas over here you have some response, some pop off the road. Now, while we're underneath, let's also look at kind of the underfoot stability elements. You can clearly see that we have quite a bit more rubber at the midfoot here than in our ASICs. Our New Balance really has a lot of coverage, so you definitely feel a bit more of a stable platform there. Uh, it's not obnoxious in any way. The ASICs, on the other hand, if you look, its rubber isn't necessarily as full coverage, but it wraps up. Whereas over here, it's a, a thinner sheet. Now, I think in combination uh, with the very, really very firm post, this works really well in the New Balance. I have very little sense of the post whatsoever. Uh, and in fact, almost I could say, maybe even less so, and there isn't any post whatsoever in the A6, but I think the long vertical sidewall and that rubber, that, that wrap-up rubber, give it a bit more of a sensation of uh, support and also a bit, more, I a bit more arch pressure. We talked earlier about the uh, New Balance having a very kind of, I think, very wide 
on the bottom on the at the sock line or platform and that's kind of felt makes uh, the landing a bit more kind of uh, broader at midfoot or with the feel at midfoot um, I would say though that the uh, New Balance's heel area is firmer than our ASICs yes it is uh, not considerably firmer not obnoxiously firmer I remember for example an older GT uh, 10, maybe the, I guess the eight, where it was brick, 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 brick hard, the rear, um, and uh, with its trustic plate and so on and so forth. Not so here with the ASICs, not so here with the New Balance. So who, who might these be good for? Of course, they're great choices for stability runners. Our New Balance is seven tenths of an ounce heavier. That is sort of felt on the run but it's kind of a more performance oriented feel overall with that more kind of responsive, snappy in terms of rebound forefoot. Um, not quite as pleasant to run at slower paces as our ASICs. I think because of all the rubber coverage, kind of less decoupling, whereas our ASICs has more decoupling, so, so it's kind of a smoother, more flexible feel at slower paces in the ASICs. But then as you pick up the pace, uh, the kind of secure, more secure upper of our uh, New Balance and uh, it's snappier forefoot, a bit more protective, even though it's the same stack height and firmer foam, kind of starts to shine. So they're both really good choices. If you're a kind of a tried and true, you really need the stability totally person, uh, you might find the New Balance a bit more stable. As a neutral runner, I actually find it uh, even a little more pleasant than our ASICs in terms of ride. However, the ASICs really shines in its flexibility in that soft bouncy front, as well as its upper comfort. So if you're focused on a kind of comfort oriented upper, uh, the ASICs would be the way to go. I definitely recommend uh, going true to size here. And if you were on the border with say, um, uh, of being in a wide, say in the eight or in some other older ASICs, uh, definitely try the normal here because uh, there's lots of stretchy room up front. Whereas here you have a true to size, uh, no questions asked fit. Not quite as kind of pleasant at the rear. We have this kind of high elf collar, whereas over here it's lower, it's much plusher, uh, but over here it's more secure. So thank you very much for watching. We're going to have a, a full multi tester review of the New Balance. 860v12 and we already have one for the a6 gt 2010 on road trail run we also have a video full video review of the a6 uh, two really fine uh, stability trainers uh, advantage weight and kind of upper comfort for the a6 advantage uh, kind of more secure upper and kind of snappier ride at faster paces for the New Balance. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great run.